we see people sleeping in the streets all the time in Vancouver. I feel like, I felt like it was kind of shocking that we're so oblivious to the uh, narratives of the poor or we just impose our own narratives on the poor which are narratives of oh it's sad or oh you know look at how difficult that must be or look at the rut that they're in whereas without actually actually spending time looking at it um, and I think that when we actually do that you'll see a lot more than just something that's sad or poor and I'm not saying that it isn't sad there are things about poverty and the situations and the environment that, that, that is sad, but it's not just that. It's amazing. It shows their resilience. It shows their ability to sleep in ways that we never could. And I think eventually it forces us to turn the question on ourselves that what is sleep to us? I think the way we sleep is with elements of luxury uh, wrapped around it. And I don't think, I think we've taken a basic human need and fetishized it. I think we're coerced to turn a blind eye to these sort of scenarios. Maybe it sort of makes us feel guilty for what we have. Um, I don't know, but I just felt it needed that time for a gaze. We should look at this.